Good morning, Union Houston. Welcome back to 21 days of prayer and fasting. You've almost made it to the end. Keep going. We're so proud of y'all. Thank you for joining us today. Today, I'm going to be praying over Union Houston, praying that we continue to be a house of prayer, a house of worship, and a house of miracles. I'm going to be reading out of Isaiah chapter 56, verse 7. And it says, I will bring them to my holy mountain of Jerusalem and will fill them with joy in my house of prayer. I will accept their burnt offerings and sacrifices because my temple will be called a house of prayer for all nations. And that's truly what we are as a church. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit union into your hands, God. This is our home. This is the place where we come and meet you, God. This is the place where we bring our burdens, we bring our anxieties and our worries. And Father, you've proven to us that day after day and time after time, that when we lift up our prayers, God, you indeed hear us, God. Father, we just want to ask that your spirit continue to dwell, oh God, wherever we move, not just in a physical place, but in the spiritual place that we carry in our hearts, wherever we may be, even as we begin this move physically, God, we ask that we continue to be that place that when we begin to intercede and when we begin to petition and to praise and to pray to you, God, that you hear us from heaven, God. Your word says that your ear is not too deaf to hear and your arm is not too short to save. And so, Father, we know that as we bring bring these prayers to you, God. You are hearing us. Father, in this time, we lift up anyone that is, has been seeking for an answer for something that hasn't found it yet, God. We're just asking right now, as we pray today, would you visit them right where they are? Would you meet them in the middle of that situation and turn it all around, Jesus? We know that you hear us. We know that you are with us. We look forward to the many testimonies you're going to bring our way, the many, the many hearts of gratitude that we're going to have just to say thank you for the great blessings and the, and the great breakthroughs that we've seen because of you. Thank you for all that you're doing in our church in this season. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for staying with us. I want to encourage you to keep meditating on the word. Keep praying throughout the day. Even if, even if it's just a whisper or a breath, God hears it all. We have a Spotify playlist you can use to worship and spend some time to connect with God today. God bless you. See you all soon.